this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, share, and subscribe. So I want to thank the new people in the two-way community. I appreciate everything that y'all doing. Um, I appreciate um, your comments and stuff. Um, the learning and teaching that y'all bring over here to the channel. Um, I want to appreciate um, y'all smash that like button, share it on your favorite social media platform. And I appreciate y'all for coming over here every single day through the good and the bad ups and downs. Nothing moves in a straight line, people. So we're going to go over some gun and ammo and all kinds of news and stuff. It's going to be mixed all into one. Now, right now, guns and ammunition sales are booming as firearm background check surge. So right now... Um, guns and ammunition is skyrocketing, people. Um, you know, as the United States begin to reopen during this pandemic, uh, restrictions are starting to ease. I know y'all are seeing um, nail stores allowing people to come in without masks and stuff. Um, so, you know, as it, everything is opening up, um, to my, you know, still is a huge increase for people buying firearms. A lot of people on the fence, people. Um, to my, that's a lot of people still on the fence to buy firearms and stuff like that. Now, March was huge in 2021. Now, um, in March, the FBI said they received more firearm background checks than any other month on record. Um, that is huge. That is that is huge. Up to my, you thought 2020 was a year, and I've been saying for a while 2021 is going to be even bigger. Now, right now, they're saying younger generation are help help driving the spike in ammunition sales. So you got a lot of young people now, you know, coming into the two-way community and stuff like that. That's why I say we got a lot of people coming to the two-way community. We're going to need them people. We're going to need all these people in the long run, people to keep fighting, you know, all this stuff, trying to uphold the Constitution and defend the Second Amendment. We got a long way to go. And so um, right now they're saying that in um, 2020, the FBI processed a record of 39.7 million firearm and background checks. Now, that's the most any year since the agency started recording the data. Now, this year, data indicate that this could be another record set. Now, they're saying the background checks is up 30% from this time last year. Now, I've been talking about that and stuff. Um, you know, the FBI is saying they're still, um, you know, doing a lot of background checks and stuff like that. Now, when it comes to that... Um, they said in March, the FBI received about 4.7 million firearm background checks, more than ever recorded in a single month. Now, um, during the pandemic, you know, that drove a lot of people um, to pretty much, you know, buy guns for their safety and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, the pandemic also drove people outdoors and um, with restrictions on indoor gathering and stuff like that. Uh, people, you know, start to express interest in, they're talking about like hunting and all this kind of stuff that was going on. Now, right now they're saying that um, you have a lot of people now, a lot of new hunters. I think they said they added, it was another 8 million people to its hunting and shooting category in 2021. So that's a lot of people, people. I'm talking about that is a lot of people. Um, these are new demographics and stuff that, you know, starting to begin to express interest in firearms and everything. Um, they said there's been a lot of younger generation as well as women and stuff like that that is coming into the farm industry and stuff. So uh, I want to kind of bring you some of that and everything. And then you have some of your companies like I think Vista Outdoors reported their sales increased 40%. Um, you know, in the company's fourth quarter in the March 31st compared to the same quarter last year. And we've been talking about all these companies who pretty much been, um, you know, increasing revenue, doubling their sales and stuff like that. Now, uh, right now, when it comes to uh, wildlife hunting, um, and this including uh, states like Michigan, Nevada saw a 67% to a 30% hike. Uh, respectively in registration for new hunting license in 2020 as compared to 2019 of the new hunters, women, younger generation, stuff like that was the fastest growing group um, that was pretty much signing up and stuff like that. Now, hunting license and rifles are not the only type of farm seeing an uptick in interest. Now, in the past four months, they're saying that nearly 16 million people have initiated farm background checks. Now, uh, firearm background checks are not required to, you know, to get a hunting license, not like that. 
but you know it's required for any gun purchase and stuff so um data also included um, checks related to concealed carry permits suppressor sales and additional gun sales and stuff like that so um right now people uh, we're going to be looking at um some records being broke right now in 2021 and stuff and so i kind of want to go over some of that news and let you know where we at when it comes to firearms and ammunition sales and all the other stuff you know, shooting sports and everything but you know you're seeing that you know we still have a lot of people coming off the fence along with repeat buyers and stuff like that because people are trying to get prepared and get ahead of the headline and stuff like that so this administration is really fueling a lot of people to go out and purchase farm because they might not have a chance to get one because some type of law or regulation and stuff. And this is what I've been saying the whole time. They are pretty much driving the cost and all this kind of stuff up. So I kind of want to go over that a little bit, get a little taste of that and everything. So this is DC Channel Guns and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns like and subscribe thank you for watching